welcome to Android Dialogues, where we have bite-sized conversations with people in the Android community. I'm Huynh Tuet Dao, and I'm speaking with... Britt Barak. And Britt and I are in Chicago for Yay. Chicago Roboto, where Ooh. we're both speaking. Right. <laughs> Britt, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, where are you based, and how did you get started in Android? So I'm based in uh, Tel Aviv. I started in Android just um, after school, no, during the university. I was just uh, joining a startup company uh, where I learned and uh, started developing for Android. Um, I just spent a long time talking to Britt before we started rolling the camera um, about all the amazing work uh, that she's been doing. And you very recently founded or helped uh, found Women Tech Makers Israel, is that right? Yeah, we Can just, yeah. Uh, no, we just started it. Uh, um, uh, last year, mm -hmm. um, where we started first uh, having big um, meetups about uh, new technologies, mm -hmm. mainly um, with like 200, 300 people, something like that, in each event. So it's like very uh, cool, very active. Yeah, thing. yeah. And since we also wanted for more women, uh, more female speakers mm -hmm. to be there, mm -hmm. um, we uh, started a, like a mentorship program for the female speakers wow. in order to encourage them. Mm -hmm. In our event, we try to have 50-50 um, of men and women in the attendees, mm -hmm. but for the speakers, we try to have a majority of well, women mm -hmm. to speak there. I think it's a uh, like, very important thing. Mm -hmm. And very recently, we started a new, very exciting program for peer mentorship. We called it We Mentor, like Women yeah, Mentor. I like yeah, it, yeah. I like it, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, where we're doing peer mentorship mm -hmm. uh, for uh, currently women. Mm -hmm. We chose like 70 women for the first cycle. Mm -hmm. We have a five uh, sessions um, program mm -hmm. for um, more of soft, soft skills and career skills mm -hmm. um, topics um, and creating like strong deep connections with one another. And how did you, I guess, start a whole new group and then end up having, you know, these, like, like how, how did you go from <laughs> just having the idea to having, you know, all of these different events? Like, can you tell us a little bit about, about sure. it? Sure. So my uh, community uh, involvement started mm -hmm. with uh, me joining uh, an amazing community called Android Academy. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I joined it uh, a few years ago and we uh, had uh, been uh, creating content like courses mm -hmm. for beginners and advanced developers and uh, we like, really scaled the community uh, really nice. Currently it has like 3,000 uh, people, like developers in the community. Wow. Uh, yeah, so I co-led that with uh, Jonathan Levine and Yossi uh, Segev, uh, so big shout out for them, and <laughs> uh, which are still doing an amazing job with all the mentors and all the uh, team there. Recently I decided, you know, I felt that I was working really, really hard to bring in more women into the community and to the courses and I was working really hard for that and we ended up with like 30-40% women within our courses, which is nice. Which is not bad. It's not nice. Bad. Yeah. But I felt like we can do, do something. better. Yeah, yeah, we can do better. <laughs> so we started um, Women Tech Makers uh, branch community mm -hmm. in Israel. So did you contact like the main Women Tech Makers organization? And yeah, said, yeah hey, with our like developer relations people, uh, managers in Google, uh, for Google. Mm -hmm. So we just, uh, you know, we're always in touch with them for the Android Academy and so on. Um, so we started uh, that, and I kind of got uh, started to, you know, create a team with friends of mine mm -hmm. from like amazing women that I've met throughout my life. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, from the university, uh, I did two degrees. So one from the um, my management degrees, one from mm -hmm. my computer sciences degrees, one from my first job, a few from like the second job, and so on. So, so just from, grabbing everyone that you, yeah. know, you knew that would be like excited and interested in helping. Yeah, and you know, talented women. Yeah, the team is like you know, everyone is really uh, passionate, very talented, very intelligent, mm -hmm. uh, and the team is really diverse because we wanted to reach out for more people and not just, for example, Android developers, mm -hmm. right? Right. Uh, so we have um, uh, some women who are, yeah, mobile developers, server developers, uh, product uh, manager, um, we have a, um, a researcher. Um, oh, cool, like more like an academic side kind of thing. Yeah. Nice. Right. Uh, so all, uh, we combined the team with 
all of these uh, amazing women. Uh, so the team is kind of got uh, shifted, you know, and many people uh, came in and out. Mm -hmm. But uh, right now we have uh, like um, four women who are like the sort of the core team for the um, meetups and the events and the programs and mm -hmm. so on. And we currently have a team of like 12 women like amazing talented women so hi for everyone you're doing an awesome <laughs> job um and all of us together created the women tour program and we le lead all the very uh you know active uh community so, that we have like it seems really intimidating to start a community especially one that sounds like as successful as yours and it can seem i guess maybe it seems kind of daunting um but it's not like it happens all in one day, right? It's not like you just came yeah, together and boom, we had like, you know, a 300 person event and then peer mentorship and, and on the training, but it kind of grew kind of like little by little as you kind of grew the team. Well, yeah, first you kind of, um, it's a mixture of um, understanding like what do you want to do? Okay, yeah. Because right. like it's a volunteer thing. So mm -hmm. it's really important for everyone to have fun mm -hmm. and to um, like, Everyone is motivated by their own, you know, self-motivated. Right. Just, just, just you wanting to, be, to wanting to contribute yeah. and wanting to. So you to, have yeah. to be very passionate about like what you're doing. Right. So I always try to talk with the team and to figure out like what do you want to engage in, like mm -hmm. which kind of meetups do you want us to do? Maybe mm -hmm. you want to learn about some new thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's create a meetup about that so you mm -hmm. can be excited about the content. Um, and maybe you want to now explore how to do, um, I don't know, partnerships, mm -hmm. you know, in general, in your life, partnerships or, or marketing or stuff like that. So why not use the community as a playground for experiencing how you can like do this kind of stuff mm. and then take it back to your career, like how to like. Right. So using. OK, cool. So it kind of serves multiple roles in your life and, yeah, and like doing multiple for sure. things. So this is kind of stuff like uh, uh, one part, like figuring out what you and the team want to do. Gotcha. Okay. And second, to figure out what the community wants and needs. Mm -hmm. So we started with the meetups in order to like create a place for people to uh, learn about new technologies. Mm -hmm. At least in Israel, we have uh, quite a successful communities for specific platforms, right? For the Android mm -hmm. and for JavaScript right. and for uh, like... All kind of that stuff um, so we wanted to create a place where you can learn about new technologies but, even if you're and, not and that's always the hard else. part I think and that's that's always the hard part like being able to branch out because you spend your, you know your your daytime job focus on some uh, yeah. particular thing and it's easiest to join a community that is already doing your particular thing it can be really tough to branch out and that, but you're bringing everything yeah together that's really cool yeah, so uh, for example, as we talked about the AI before, mm -hmm. so yeah. AI was something that like everyone started to talk about. Oh yeah, just like every two seconds at I.O. last year. <laughs> just, like know. Everything has AI in it, everything has machine learning. I know, and like in Israel <laughs> we have tons of startups, so mm -hmm. everyone, like if you ask someone what does your startup do, mm -hmm. it would say something, 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 and we use AI. <laughs> <laughs> like okay okay we're all using AI now okay, yeah. so of course and for me kind of I I figured out that many people say AI and ML even though they don't really understand what they're talking about but they still say it anyway because mm. they you have to ever because yeah. everyone has to have it now I know <laughs> and for me kind of I didn't understand what is everyone talking about mm -hmm. um, and then um, this was kind of an example for something that I didn't understand but I understood it's like an important thing to realize right what are they talking about so we kind of discussed that with one of my friends who are partner with me in the team Hadas mm -hmm. uh, and Hadas just finished her PhD in AI congratulations Hadas sorry I can't <laughs> tell the exact thing you're doing um, and we, we were kind of talking about that. Mm -hmm. uh, and I told her that I don't know anything about AI and mm -hmm. what what's everyone talking about it. And she said, oh, it's really interesting. And there are tons of different topics. And we kind of started talking about it. Mm -hmm. and, I, and we said, OK, that's so important. That's so interesting. Mm -hmm. Let's create a series of, of meetups, mm -hmm. of events 
talking about this new, very interesting technologies and, and startup that, that we currently have in the topic. So a lot of the, the topics and the content really just come from literally from you having discussions or you understanding that, hey, there's this thing, there's a need, like both in terms of education and training and also just probably like customers or, you know, um, I guess people, companies out there needing yeah. expertise in this thing. Let's help each other get some expertise on this. Yeah. That's really uh, cool. Yeah. Like really helped y'all like kind of make Women Tech Makers Israel kind of kind of take off. Um, so I think the first thing to do is just come from the right motivation and the right intentions. So I think, it, you know, I think it's relevant for mostly everything in life, but um, like do the thing that you that you really want to do, that you're really passionate about mm -hmm. or interested in. Yeah. Um, and when you come from this motivation, mm -hmm. um, just start ahead and do it. Um, and it's fine that at first there won't be so many people. It does not matter because you want to do something that you're passionate about and you want to do something that would be uh, like, you know, like quality is more important than quantity here. Okay. So do something that is like in a good, like an amazing quality. And it's fine if at first it's not the best thing. And we had some, uh, we had some meetups, we had some talks that were, you know, less uh, good or like less successful than the others. Mm -hmm. It's fine. We're mm -hmm. all trying out. Mm -hmm. um, and so start small and and like start from a place that you want like that you really want to do something mm -hmm. um and then when you start to have a team make sure that everyone feels the same way mm -hmm. that everyone's doing what they want to do it's not a burden on anyone mm -hmm. um and and that would help you like scale. Well, it makes sense because you like you said you spend so much time doing it. If you yeah. didn't care about doing it, and if you weren't passionate about doing it, you'd probably get burned out very quickly. Yeah. Um, so definitely, yeah. So having everyone on the same page sounds interesting. Um, do you have any tips on like getting good content? Like, do you get support from Google? Like, um, or just is it just more like finding like speakers and companies locally that you know would would make for interesting topics? Like, do you have any kind of quick tips? So usually it starts with us, uh, us like the team, uh, caring about some kind of topic, mm -hmm. like the AI, like the AI, mm -hmm. like the like we did a lot of stuff about like soft skills, mm. um, management, um, oh, like work life balance, mm -hmm. uh, public speaking. Mm -hmm. uh, so we had lots of those um, uh, automotive and like new technologies. So of course, um, so we started finding what's the like, what's the thing we want to have mm -hmm. and then we kind of then we kind of start and, and finding the right people to do it mm -hmm. so yeah we have google our uh, developer relations managers we we're uh, we're in a close connection with them and mm -hmm. we consult with them all the time who are the best people to come and, and help out with these topics um sometimes we, we have campus so they're also helping us out sometimes with reaching out to people and also mm -hmm. just people from the community because in Israel, I mean, the ecosystem is like, we have tons of startups, we have ton tons of communities, as mm -hmm. I mentioned, mm -hmm. and all of us try to be friends with each other. Yeah, or we're so, all on the same kind of, you know, it's true. same path, you know, yeah, trying to figure Yeah, we're never in like a contest, a contest yeah. or anything. So mm -hmm. uh, we consult with one another. So it's like, who knows someone uh, from this company mm -hmm. or someone uh, who is doing some uh, interesting blockchain technology mm -hmm. or like something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and we try a little by little, like get to the right people, get mm -hmm. to the amazing people uh, that we want. Mm -hmm. This is kind of, uh, yeah, about the content. Nice. So just starting kind of like with your own connections and yeah. like branching out. And so I guess if you're out there and even if you're not planning to start your own 300 person event community, um, if you're just trying to start a community, like obviously people like Brit really want you around and want you to participate. So of don't be intimidated. Go and reach out. Um, if you're visiting Tel Aviv, I know lots of very cool events. So talk to me if you're here. There you go. <laughs> so as I mentioned, Britt is also speaking at uh, Chicago Roboto on AI, uh, coincidentally. Yeah. You're giving a kind of theory, a kind of basic theory on, on machine learning and AI. Yeah, so my talk is called Who's Afraid of Machine Learning? Uh, I am. But I am too. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> 
uh, yeah, and this is the reason I created the talk. So it's kind of half of what is AI, what is machine learning, how mm -hmm. does it work? And then uh, half is like a little bit of implementation with TensorFlow so we can feel um, like more tangible stuff. Awesome. So if you are also interested in AI and wondering what it is, like what, what's all this machine learning that's going on uh, and are curious a little bit about TensorFlow, um, definitely keep an eye out for Brit's talk, uh, which I believe most of the talk, I think the talks at Chicago Robotics are being recorded, so keep an eye out for that. And again, like you said, if you're in Tel Aviv and want to participate in the community, you should definitely uh, look her up. So well, thank you so much, Brit. Thank you. If people wanted to find you on the internet, how can they do that? After I said you didn't, should go find Brit, how can, how can people <laughs> find you on the internet? Um, so on Facebook, on Twitter, Okay. LinkedIn, I think. Cool. I, I can have like I can be, um I can post your Twitter handle. Usually we post a Twitter Twitter handle right about here. So um and then I'll, I'll link to all your your things in the sure. show notes. Of so, course. but thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And thank you all, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.